بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد وعلى آل سيدنا محمد كما صليت على سيدنا إبراهيم وعلى آل سيدنا إبراهيم وبارك على سيدنا محمد وعلى آل سيدنا محمد كما باركت على سيدنا إبراهيم وعلى آل سيدنا إبراهيم في العالمين إنك حميد مجيد اللهم صل وسلم وبارك على سيدنا وحبيبنا ونور قلوبنا محمد وآله صلى الله عليك يا سيدي يا رسول الله صلى الله عليك يا سيدي يا حبيب الله صلى الله عليك يا سيدي يا إمام المرسلين صلى الله عليك يا سيدي يا شفيع المذنبين صلى الله عليك يا سيدي يا إمام الغر المحجلين صلى الله عليك يا سيدي يا إمام الأولين والآخرين صلى الله عليك وعلى آلك وأزواجك وذرياتك وأصحابك وأحبابك والتابعين وعنا معهم يا رب رحمتك يا أرحم الراحمين طيب let's talk today about we've talked about Tawbah, we've talked about muhasaba, about muraqaba, about al ruju' ila Allah. Let's talk about the station of reflection. Reflection is very important, or what people nowadays call meditation. But reflection and meditation may be different here. Reflection is thinking and reflecting. And Allah Azza wa Jal in the Quran spoke about reflection a lot. أَفَلَا يَنظُرُونَ إِلَى الْإِبْلِ كَيْفَ خُلِقَتْ وَإِلَى السَّمَاءِ كَيْفَ رُفِعَتْ Don't they look at the uh, animals, at the camels, how they are created? Don't they look at heavens, how they are raised? Yani today they call that stargazing. وَإِلَى yeah. السَّمَاءِ كَيْفَ رُفِعَتْ وَإِلَى الْجِبَالِ كَيْفَ نُصِبَتْ Don't they look at the mountains and how the mountains are? وَإِلَى الْأَرْضِ كَيْفَ سُطِحَتْ Don't they look at earth and how it is? And Allah Azza wa Jal in many, uh, in many of the ayahs, He mentioned that to us. Allah says, وَأَنزَلْنَا, وأنزلنا إِلَيْكَ الذِّكْرَ لِتُبَيِّنَ لِلنَّاسِ مَا نُزِّلَ إِلَيْهِمْ وَلَعَلَّهُمْ يَتَفَكَّرُونَ We revealed unto you, unto you the dhikr of Muhammad صلى الله عليه وعلى آله وسلم لتبين للناس So you can show the people, explain to the people that which was revealed to them وَلَعَلَّهُمْ Allah seals the ayah by saying وَلَعَلَّهُمْ يَتَفَكَّرُونَ وَلَعَلَّهُمْ يَتَفَكَّرُونَ uh, uh, that means uh, so that they may reflect, so that they may uh, uh, contemplate and think. And that's why reflection and contemplation is very, very important. Uh, it's part of uh, the journey to Allah Azza wa Jal, uh, indeed. And, and because Allah asked us to do so, Allah, reflection is important. Those who do good usually have ref moments of reflections, if not more than just moments of reflection. Those who keep doing evil and they don't feel that they're doing evil, they have no reflection whatsoever. Their mind is over-occupied with their passion and their evil that they do. So therefore, or their dunya, their materials, their things. So therefore, there is no thinking. And today, as if the whole world is almost designed for you not to have reflection. Why? Reflection would lead you to the right way. But not to reflect on yourself and on your surroundings, but to be very busy in that which you have to do so much that you don't have any moment of reflection. So in the old days, phones were just regular wired phones. Today, they're iPhones. And there you take them with you to bed. You sleep out of exhaustion. 
everything is around you. Your mind is sleeping totally out of exhaustion. There's no moment for reflection. And when there's no more moment for reflection, there's no thinking. And when there's no thinking, you're just following blindly. And that's the danger in that. And that's why those who don't reflect, uh, do not see the light in general. They're just working. They're enslaving themselves to whatever they are enslaving themselves to. And that's why Allah says, so that they may reflect because reflecting actually will liberate you. Reflection is liberation. And the reason people are not liberated because they don't reflect anymore. Uh, look at the stars, look at reflect about yourself and what you do vis-a-vis uh, -vis your own standards that you put for yourself, let alone the Sharia, for example. Uh, it should be the standard anyway uh, of, of, of your moral standard, meaning your ethical standard. Uh, look at stargaze, look at the creation, look at the moons, look at the uh, mountains, look at the water, look at the oceans. Look, look, there's all letters for you to think and reflect and actually see the light and the more you reflect, the more you'll become illuminated and lighter, lighter, light and lighter. Yani nur and lighter as far as uh, what you bear and what you carry. You carry too much. And that's because of the lack of dhikr, which is the whole point of reflection, because that reflection will eventually lead you to the dhikr of Allah. فَذَكِّرْ إِنَّمَا أَنْتَ مُذَكِّرْ نعم, That's what Allah Azza wa Jal then. أَفَلَا يَنْظُرُونَ إِلَى الْإِبْلِ كَيْفَ خُلِقَتْ وَإِلَى السَّمَاءِ كَيْفَ رُفِعَتْ وَإِلَى الْجِبَالِ كَيْفَ نُصِبَتْ وَإِلَى الْأَرْضِ كَيْفَ سُطِحَتْ What happens after the end of reflection? فَذَكِّرْ This is how you can remind. فَإِنَّمَا أَنْتَ مُذَكِّرْ You cannot force people, but you can tell them here is the way. Why is it ref why is reflection key for presence with Allah or to be present? Because reflection is actually almost when you are in reflection, you're almost touching your basira. We have two things: basar and basira. Basar is the vision of the of the head. Basira is the vision of the heart. And oftentimes people, uh, they're busy with their basar. They are occupied with what their eyes see. They rarely actually look at what their heart. So reflection actually opens, tears the veil, the veils down. So you're almost touching, you're looking for your basira. To, and the basira shows you the vision of the heart illuminates everything in front of you. And therefore, uh, reflection is on three levels, if we may say. First, reflection is in the field of Tawheed, of Tawheed, yani the oneness of Allah, the absolute oneness of Allah. That's where reflection is. That's the greatest reflection. There is no better reflection. There is no better knowledge. There is no better things that the Anbiya themselves came with more than Tawheed. La ilaha illallah. And that's why it is Ashraf al-Uloom, as the, many of the scholars say, Ilm al-Tawheed is the most honorable of Uloom. And imagine the fikr in Tawheed. And therefore Allah says in the Quran, فَعْلَمْ أَنَّهُ لَا إِلَهَ إِلَّا اللَّهِ have a realization of what la ilaha illallah means. That's what the ayah points us to. And that, that's when you uh, look at the names of Allah Azza wa Jal, you look at the oneness of Allah, Allah Ahad, nothing is like him, as Samad, the one who is not in need of anything, but everything is in need of him for everything. Lam yalid wa lam yulad, he's not like the creation who is from something, or gives rise to something from its essence. And there is nothing like him, subhanahu wa ta'ala. 
The second thing is you reflect on, in the, on the creation. Look at the beauty of the make of Allah Azza wa Look, that's why he tells you, don't you see the, uh, the, the skies? Don't you see earth? Don't you see this? وَالشَّمْسُ وَالْقَمَرْ قَدَّرْنَاهُ مَنَازِلْ وَالشَّمْسُ تَجْرِيلِ مُسْتَقَرِّ لَهَا You see all these ayahs, right? What's that all for? You look at the make of Allah. You see the, the beautiful make of Allah Azza wa Jal. And the beautiful make leads you always to realize the beauty of the maker, subhanahu wa ta'ala. With that, then it, the reflection then leads you to think about that which Allah asked you to do and that which Allah asked you not to do. And you reflect to realize the great wisdom in that which he prohibited you from doing, even though you want to do so much or so badly, but you realize the beauty of the wisdom uh, of not doing them and re realize the beauty of the wisdom of doing the things he asked you to do by reflection also on that. So these are the three kinds of reflections that are important and that it's important for us to walk them, to walk them as we are walking the tazkiyah, inshallah, azza wa jal. May Allah Azza wa Jal bless all of you, grant all of us maghfira. Ya Rabbal Alameen, Ya Ilahi, Ya Kareem, Ya Rahman, Ya Rahim. Allahumma salli salli ala Sayyidina Muhammadin al-khatami lima sabak wal-fatihi liman ghalaq nasir al-haq bil-haq wal-hadi ila siratika al-mustaqeem wa ala alih haqqa qadrih wa miqdarih al-azim اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله صلاة ترضيك وترضيه وترضى بها عنا يا رب العالمين اللهم اغفر لنا ذنوبنا وإسرافنا في أمرنا وثبت أقدامنا يا الله forgive all our sins يا رب العالمين يا الله we ask you in these blessed days to protect us all of us and يا الله in these blessed days we ask you to bless us we ask you, Ya Rabbil Alameen, to guide us. We have no one to guide but you, Ya Allah, and guidance is only from you. So we ask you and plead to you and implore you and beg you for guidance, Ya Allah. So guide us, Ya Allah. Do not leave us for ourselves or our minds, not a split of a second, Ya Rabbil Alameen. Ya Allah, Ya Rahman, Ya Rahim, bless us, Ya Allah, and bless our time and bless ourselves and bless our... Iman and bless our ibadah and bless our rizq and bless our families and bless what we do and bless our homes, Ya Rabbil Alameen. Ya Allah, Ya Kareem, do not deprive us from the barakah. Ya Rabbil Alameen, Ya Allah, and the tawfiq, Ya Rabbil Alameen, Ya Allah, Ya Kareem, Ya Rahman, Ya Rahim. Ya Allah, there are people in this day today who are suffering, Ya Allah, and people who are sick, Ya Allah, for all of them, Ya Allah, show them your special healing ya allah ya allah show them your special love and your special guidance and your special kindness and your special uh, mercy and your special compassion ya rabbal alamin heal all ya allah remove the suffering from all ya allah ya allah there are people who have hardships and they have no one to turn to but you there are all of us ya allah we have hardships and we have no one to turn to but you Ya Allah, we are have difficulties and there is no one that alleviate them but you. Ya Allah, you know the, what we face and you know our Iman, Ya Allah, needs you, Ya Rabbil Alameen, to, to purify it, to elevate it, to make it illuminating for us, Ya Allah, to make it actualized for us, Ya Allah. Ya Rabbil Alameen, Ya Akram al Akramin. Ya Allah, we ask you, Ya Rabbil Alameen, for there is no one to ask but you. We ask your forgiveness for any time we asked anyone else but you. We ask your forgiveness for any time we feared anything else but you. We ask you time for. Uh, we ask you forgiveness for any time we we sought everyone else but you. We asked you. We ask you forgiveness for any time we relied on anyone else other than you. But we rely on you, O Lord, and have of heavens and earth. For ma indakum yanfad wa ma indallahi baq. What we have is limited. What you have is limitless. And you are the all-loving, all-merciful, all-compassionate, all-giving, 
يا رب العالمين اغفر لنا ذنوبنا يا الله our parents and our grandparents and our relatives our 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 children and our grandchildren يا رب العالمين our teachers يا الله our مشايخ يا رب العالمين إخواني الحاضرين الحاضرات يا رب العالمين their parents their فروع their أصول everyone around them يا رب العالمين make them make us all a, a, a blessing from you and a source of blessing for your creation يا الله Make us merciful and make us channel mercy. Make us, Ya Allah, loving and make us a channel of love. Make us, Ya Allah Ta'ala, grant us forgiveness and make us a channel of forgiveness. Salli Allahumma wa sallim ala Sayyidina Muhammadin al-Ali. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Tomorrow is Friday. Just a reminder, we have it at 8 p.m. or 8.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We don't have our regular because we have the the Qutbatul Jumu'ah tomorrow around uh, two thirty, and then around eight. Wa jazakum Allahu Taala khairan. Wa sallallahu ala Sayyidi Rasulillah wa ala ali Sayyidina Rasulillah. Walhamdulillahi Rabbil